Okay, this is um, the House of Benevenito video. Um, we're with Duke at the altar setting that he has. And we're going to be going right in through here. You need the four winged key, which I've already unlocked. And we're going to head in here. This path can be a little hard to sort of see. So just push forward. Forgot that I got a different gun. I always forget to re-equip that. Now if you're wondering why I'm shooting birds, it has nothing to do with the House of Bee at all. It's just a challenge. It's separate from the game. It's just shooting five birds will get you some challenge points. And then if you haven't collected it already, there's a goat of warding right here. But once they're gone, they seem to be gone. I can't get them to pop back up. Even on new game. Ethan. What? Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? Ethan. All right, you can't run right now. This gate's locked. This is the gardener's house that we're going to come back to. Rose feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. And then we'll also what be coming in here this? on the way back because it's currently blocked. Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. Okay, this is Donna's treasure. Right here. And in order to open it you need to get the block slab from the locked mausoleum in the cemetery but that doesn't open until after we complete the house so we can't do this until after am i losing it Actually, give up your memories so what they want you to put in is the family photo you've had from the start. What's going on? Someone is very fast and quiet and small. <laughs> and this does take a little while. <laughs> really cool. Okay, there's another goat of warding right there. Again, it's gone because I already got it. Now in here, there's like no loot anywhere in this house anywhere at all. 
So there's a door down there that's locked and stays locked the entire time. So we're just gonna go this way. That's the study. There's nothing in there right now for us, so we're just gonna go where we need to go. And that this door is currently locked, so you couldn't get in anyway. gun so now all of your inventory is completely gone you have absolutely nothing there's a save if you want it and then we're gonna investigate the doll on the table left on the L stick. And press up. And that's a bird <coughs> facing to the right. That's what it is. And it's for a door. Oh yeah. Is this picture of Mia? A doll of Mia? And then we're going to look at the left arm twice. Push down on L to get the key. And then this side. And that's three closed eyes. So around the corner that way is a door with where we'll use that information. It's with the silver key that we got. And then we're going to wash the ring off. We're going to examine it. There's their wedding anniversary. 05-29-11. Make sure the water was off. So the bird to the left and the three eyes are going to be used here. But we still need that third medallion, so we can't go through here yet. But we can, however, get out of here. So zero five, twenty nine, eleven. Oops. And we're going to go to that storage room that was locked. Because 
they so nicely opened the door for us. Why is this here? Now in the first video, I actually see that upstairs in the hallway to their bedroom. So this is Ethan and Mia. Now what you have to do is move these cylinders around just highlight one, highlight another one, and press X, and it'll move them. And what I like to use are the scratch marks on it. Just line the scratch marks up. And then square to play. A memento of my time with Ethan, but this music box no longer plays. And again, that's like all that's, that's here. Now we're going to use the tweezers on the mouth of the mannequin. Now we still need to get in here, but we need scissors. Now we can go to the study. But we're going to read this first, because you have to put these in proper order in order to play the movie. So Rose's best friend in the whole wide world is whoever, it's whatever video is, film is, is going to be first. And she really likes this fairy tale, second most important thing in the world to us, wedding gift from grandma, and proof of Ethan's everlasting love. So we're going to come over here and we're going to add the film. Now in position one, it's Rose's best friend, which we know is her teddy bear. So using D-pad, we're going to move it over. And she really likes this fairy tale. She doesn't even know that fairy tale. The most important thing in the world is obviously Rose. And then the fourth one is a wedding gift from Grandma. So that's going to be fourth. So we've got Teddy Bear, Village of Shadows, Rose, Music Box, and then Proof of Ethan's Everlasting Love for Me, which is her wedding ring. And so then Square to play the movie. So there's nothing in here but a bunch of dolls and the scissors. So we're going to pick these up, crouch, and then use the scissors to get ourselves out. And you can interact with the phone, but there's nothing there. But it will ring. talking about. I love you both so much. I had to. I had to do it. She's like, he's so tired of her crap that she just hung up on her. I think it's funny. So this is 
um, requires a relief of a baby. The mother holding a baby, which we don't have yet, but we're going to go get. So then we're back in this room. Oh, and someone's walking through the glass, you can see. But there's nobody there. I'm going to use the scissors to cut that. Brass medallions. Now we get to come down here. And then this one, just slide through with D-pad. And we want the three closed eyes. And then here, we want the bird facing to the right. And it'll open. And this is the movie we just saw in the study. This is the same location. We want the breaker box key. And that's where the Relief of Child, I think it's called. And now we get to listen to the baby for like the rest of our time in this house. <laughs> At least in the basement. You don't even want to see what that is. It's a gross, huge baby. So we're going to go back the way we came. Now, last time, he actually, that baby thing will hang outside where you cut the stuff off. Then again, it might be down here. Just depends. Relief of a child. Alright. So then this hallway is blocked. So we're going to go through the kitchen. It's a cute kitchen. I like this little table. And what we're looking for is a fuse for the breaker box. That's what we're looking for. And of course, once you take it out, power goes off. So that baby's going to chase you down here. So you can either hide in here or you can hide under the bed. I prefer to hide under the bed because then when he comes in and he goes this way, I can just scoot out the door. So that's why I don't hide in the closet. But you won't see the baby until you actually get to the stairs. So you actually have to trigger him. Or you can just sit underneath the bed forever and he won't come. It, really. Probably.
once it's past the bed. Oh. Oh my God, that dog. Then we're going back to the breaker box. However, it has knocked that way closed, so you have to go through the doll workshop. Knock this over too, apparently. But he's kind of quick for a slimy baby. So be on your toes. So we're going to stick the fuse in, which will then automatically start the elevator. But he's like right there, so you can't even hang out and press the button. Still locked. This door will be locked the entire time. I've never seen it open. And do not adjust your monitors. Yes, it's just weird. Don't leave. I can't let you. Oh, you're still alive. Right now we have to go chase this doll. Try and find me. I've done this chase twice. Both times his the doll's up here the first time. She's always been in the sitting room off that library. Do you want to head down there? She has been here twice. She's been here twice in a row. The other places I've seen her is here. And over by the elevator. Okay, I have no idea where she is then. And there was a challenge to kill this doll in under two minutes. Which I thought was going to be pretty easy to do, but considering she keeps moving. Okay. They got crafty on it. They are determined to. Alright, so last time she was here. Nope. Also seen her here. Nope. And I've also seen her here. There she is. You are never going to get out of here. Stupid idiot! What are you doing to my cute friends? <laughs> Oh 
my god. Is it over? Mia, I'll make things right. What? Good. I need to get out of this place. Okay, we're gonna combine it. So that's the four wing this. unborn key. All right, we're gonna grab the doll as well because I'm gonna sell it. And the only thing we're missing that makes two. are Rose's legs. All right. Now we're going to go back and we're going to get the graveyard slab from the mausoleum. Oh, hit the button. <clears throat> it's gone. Ethan, come with me. It's gone. I'm going to clean it up. Oh, and I didn't point it out earlier, but you do have all your items back. Okay, we have the garden and the gardener's house to do as well. And this is now open. This was overgrown and it's not anymore. This is where we're gonna get another shotgun. And yes, there are going to be enemies here. So as soon as we go in... Okay, this is the other shotgun. It is more powerful than the one you currently have. <clears throat> And then there's a lock pit right here that you're going to want. That one's done, and then we need to go up to this little cemetery area, little gravestone area, for that, as well as for this. This will allow us to play the labyrinth in the gardener's house. The sun and moon ball. <clears throat> Okay, 
hence the gate that was locked earlier. Here's another well. Like I said um, earlier in the video, I'm going to do all of the wells in all but one in a single video. Photo of the strange... Did I pick it up? It's actually in the house. So I was... Oh, there it is. Okay. We're, we can do this too. This item. On Duke's recipes, there's juicy game, quality meat, and finest fish, which are different from poultry, fish, and beast meat. There are three photos in the game that will show you the juicy game or the quality meat or the finest fish and you have to find them where they are and that's the way you fulfill that recipe for Duke. Now this bird is in the cemetery in one of the branches on the tree. That building that you see right there, that's going to be actually where we're going to get the gravestone piece that's missing from Donna's treasure chest thing. So we'll be doing that in a second. Because they're right next to each other. Okay, so this is uh, the House of Benevenito's Labyrinth. And it uses, let's go from the bottom, sun and moon ball. If you need to rotate it, just use the R2, L2. And just keep an eye on the edges because if it falls off, which it probably will, you have to start over. See, like here, there, there's no cards. Alright, so now you get the onyx skull, which is pretty cool. This one's actually my favorite. I think it's the coolest out of all four. I think it looks cool. Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been this overjoyed. Ever since childhood, she has always feared others due to the scar across her face. After her parents' death, she locked herself away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made her. I am forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite compassion. Mistress Donna seems happy. It might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll Angie is even more lively than before. She came to me in the garden today and used Angie to talk with me. We had a mighty fine conversation. Something about receiving a gift of power from Mother. Mr. Stana gave me yellow flowers and told me to plant them in the garden. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know if it was the scent of the flowers, but I felt lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's so kind. And that was November, and it's now like February. Just safe spot if you want one. Then here's the key to get us into the house. To get us into this house. The Maestro's Collection. I mean, you only need a knife just to get into the yard. But in order to be able to get into the house itself, we need this key. Did I miss anything? Nope. Now as we go back to the starting grave graveyard, there's going to be more enemies and all of a sudden there's going to be bird cages where there were hanging bodies. So there's more loot coming up.
Pick it up! Pick it up! Alright, there's a large crystal that was not there before. There's also going to be a crystal on one of the other gravestones as well. Cage. And a third bird cage. A bunch of stuff on the way back. Cemetery. Okay, the mausoleum that they crawled out of is exactly where we're going. So this broken slab is going to go onto the gravestone at the elevator house. And then the bird is right here. Minding its own business. Juicy game. Familiar to you. Okay, so here's the one with the juicy game as its necessary ingredients. Mm -hmm. I've gotten some new stock. Your coin. See, Angie's worth quite a bit. Ah, Miss Angie. Just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. Did I shoot that goat and then, like, not even pick it up? All right. Oh, this I is all an that investment. Today. This one is much more powerful. This one's upgraded to level 2 and it's only a power of 640. This is level 1 and it's 760. So I'm selling this. Mm -hmm. Aha. Okay, now 
about the 840. Now these are the recipes for explosive rounds and flash bangs, which are going to go in the grenade launcher that we'll get after beating Monroe. Or before beating Monroe, actually. I take that back. Alright, so that's the lemmy. We don't want that. This we will buy. <laughs> okay, we're going to save, and then we're going to go back. The full adventure. Buddy. Meat. Okay. Now. Now. We're going to go put the broken slab on Donna's Donna's treasure chest gravestone, which is a Claudia Benvenito. But it's being guarded now by this incredibly scary huge guy. I have gotten the treasure and not killed the guy, but you can also kill the guy. So I'm going to try and do both. We're going to get the treasure without killing him just to show you that you can do it. And then I'll probably just kill him because I, I want his um, crystal thing. He does just like pop down right on you, like right here. And it's kind of like, hey, what? We want the broken slab. That That's what we're going to put on here. And then we sort of have to like run around a little bit because he's like totally going to kick our butts. So I just steer clear of him until the, until it fully opens. Berengerino's chalice and then off you go and he will turn his he will turn back once you reach here he will hit you though so I, when I did kill him I did tend to use um, stair strats because <laughs> he won't follow you all the way up the stairs I should have done that. So once you come up, then he'll disappear. He has a long reach with that thing, so.
see that I moved his shoulder like right at the last second. Oh, okay, that was my fault. He has a really long reach with that thing, so be careful. Okay. Alright, I can do better. That was ridiculous. I missed three shots in a row. Oh my gosh. See? See what I mean? <laughs> it's a really long reach with that thing, and Ethan, we all know, is so incredibly slow. See that? See how far it is? Crazy. Back up, back up, back up! That's four mines, multiple shots. I'll just say shots since they clearly weren't like headshots. That one was though, so we're still gonna get hit. God, Ethan is so slow. Too late. He's coming all the way too. See this? And then he just disappears down. Dang it! And that stupid tree is like right there. Oh, I'm out of ammo. killed this guy before, I swear I have. He just has like insane amounts of health. And a really long reach! Oh, there, we go. there we go. Huh. Giant crystal axe, which will allow me to buy back a lot of this stupid ammo that I just completely and utterly wasted on him. Okay. So you can do it both ways. If you want to waste the ammo to get this crystal, then you can, and we'll go see how much it is. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's enough for some good ammo. But then we're done with the house of Benevenito. There, thirty thousand. So it's it's worth buying, investing in the ammo to kill this guy for sure. Your coin. And then her treasure. And then remember, don't sell meat here. You have to I'm sell it through here. I'm skilled at all here. sorts of weapons modifications, and will do them for a small fee. Mm -hmm. And I have two, but I only needed one for that, so we're going to back out and we'll go put it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. so there's one. One moment, please. Leave 
this to me. Okay. So that's Please come again. So that's the house of Benevenito. 